Good afternoon. Gray skies out there today. Another day in a row and we've had that drizzle, the light rain and uh, mist and fog that's just been keeping our uh, skies gray and just gloomy conditions for us in the Southern Valley. There are places though that are much better off where we're enjoying some sunshine right now and you might you might be hello you might be able to tell where that is. Uh, it is up in the Northern Valley, 70 degrees in Langdon, 68 in Grand Forks. It's 66 right now in Jamestown. And over to the east, we're in the 50s, 55 in Boston and Bemidji, 59 in Detroit Lakes and Wadena right now. So this is noon in July that we have these kind of temperatures at the moment. Let's check out our visibility. It has been down from time to time this morning and now into this afternoon. We're looking at visibility that is in uh, the good range for just about everybody. Up in Rosa, we're at seven miles there. And checking out our wind speeds, there are places that are seeing some winds gusting into the teens and uh, eventually into the 20s for some of us at time from time to time. A 17 mile per hour gust in Thief River Falls, 14 in Grand Forks, 12 in Devil's Lake. So not too bad, but there's a little bit of a breeze for some areas here today. So with our radar, we're not really seeing much. It's hard to pick up those those fine uh, uh, droplets with the mist that we've had recently. So that has been have the radar is having a hard time detecting that. Uh, but basically anywhere you see the clouds on our satellite picture here where you see the white that and gray, that's where the clouds are. Uh, this is where we could be also getting a couple of sprinkles from time to time. So there's a cutoff right around Highway 2, Crookston, Grand Forks, you're mainly in the partly to cloudy to mostly sunny range. And then down into Valley City as well, you're getting some decent sunshine compared to others. And then south and east from there, that's where it's a, a big difference. We're dealing with some cloud cover. Now, as we move into the afternoon hours, this will slowly erode or continue to erode here in your hour by hour planner. You can watch this happen by three o'clock. We're looking at more places enjoying sun around the five to seven o'clock hour. More of that happening as well. But the clouds are going to be pretty stubborn in places like Lakes Country. Fargo, I think we'll get a couple of hours of sunshine, hopefully sooner than that. But right now, these clouds look like they're going to hang on for some time. I have 70 three degrees and a Grand Fork 73 as well down to the southeast a couple of sprinkles and then by 11 o'clock tonight things really do clear out and we start to see some uh, clear skies for the day tomorrow and that's when everything starts to change we've got the wind shift to a southerly direction this is 6 a.m. tomorrow we start to see that wind shift we've got clear skies will allow us to get a full sunshine and warm up quite a bit and by noon we'll be in the 70s at that point even an 80 potentially out west and the temperature rise continues from there into the 80s and even 90s for those of us in southeastern North Dakota. There's a decent shot at seeing 90 degrees. So really heating things up in a hurry. We may get one or two rain or thunder showers late tomorrow night uh, as that system that's approaching moves in. And we'll continue to uh, see that warm up uh, throughout the weekend and into next week as well. So summer heat will be on its way back. It's just uh, a little break today and yesterday as well. For Which, as we mentioned, for those people in the Lakes Country uh, mm -hmm. who are dealing with power outages still, yes. probably okay that yeah. uh, we're in the 60s and 70s. And there's a lot of people outside doing a lot of work to <laughs> yep. clean up too, so exactly. not, not too hot for you. Straight ahead.